Number two on my Bruce Willis top 10 movie thon is one short of a baker's dozen. It's the 1995 film 12 Monkeys. Remember to donate to the AFTD as all proceeds from these videos goes directly towards fighting back against FTD and helping those like Bruce Willis and the many, many others who are dealing with this. There is the link on the page if you can. We are reaching the end of the top 10 and we do have some ground to make up so any little bit helps out a lot. If you can't donate, just hit the subscribe button. That's so easy. I will donate for every new subscriber this month. Okay, let's go see how bad airport security really is because this is Red Eye Reviews. We learned that 5 billion people have died from a deadly virus and that the survivors have been forced to live underground. We see this memory of somebody getting shot at an airport. I'm sure this won't come back up later. And we awake to the man. The man that is the egg to our pata shoe because he holds us all together. But he has been forcefully volunteered to go to the surface and collect some samples. So the bosses play that crane game. They hope to catch themselves an action star. But if I had to guess, I bet those claws will open up right before it lifts him out of there. However, this claw game appears to not be rigged, so he goes topside. Up there, he runs into a bear. Thank God that bear hears that somebody's opening a picnic basket nearby, and he runs off to steal that. But back down below, they scrub our man off. These scientists ask for his help. We appreciate your volunteering. Not to volunteer can be a real mistake. Definitely a mistake. They want to send him back in time to 1996 when this virus was released, and maybe he can help find a cure. However, they screw up. They send our man back to 1990. As of before the internet even existed, what were we all doing? Totally irrational, totally disoriented, doesn't know where he is. But he shows up. They immediately scrub him down again. <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, I guess he does have a pretty scrubbable little hiney. Good, good on you there, pal. But shouting about the future and viruses gets you quickly thrown into a mental hospital where we meet Jeffrey Goines. Yo, Jeffrey! Games. Here's some games. Games that want to get out. Get out! Get out! Games in my chair. Fun little trivia bit. They sent Brad Pitt to a speech coach to try to help him with this nervous, rapid, weird moving speech patterns. I'm not saying you're not mentally ill. For all I know, you're <laughs> crazy as a loon. But you know what ultimately worked better? They just took his cigarettes away. Yeah, it's a terrible move, but the dude was so stressed out the whole time that this character just sort of erupted out of him. <laughs> Get out of my chair! But our man James is put in front of the doctor's board. Those people seem more interested in eating those cookies that our grandparents had, and then when you open it up, it was just filled with sewing supplies? Only they got to it before the sewing supplies. Lucky them, that never happened to me. We're not in the present now, Mr. Cole? No, 1996 is the past, too. Listen to me. They'll want to know that they sent me to the wrong time. But ultimately, they do not believe him. They're protecting the people on the outside from us. You think you can remove the grill, but you can't. He tells Jeffrey that he wants to escape to work on his mission. And Jeffrey just loses it. I would cheats and towels like a big hotel when suddenly I felt like bending the fucking bars back. Colonics for everyone. He shows us that he also has a scrubbable little hiney and that maybe James Cole ain't the only one in the house. But the next day he acts crazy. He gives James the opening he needs. Now. Yes. Now. Bye. And he begins the worst escape attempt uh, ever. <laughs> He's seen by literally everybody. I could see him from space. So they lock him up again. 
However, they go to check on him, and our man just simply vanishes. He's back to the future. Great Scott. Why is Scott so great? We don't know. He tells them that they messed up and they sent him to the wrong year. And they're like, oh, okay, our bad. No, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll totally get it right the second time. Good luck in there, champ. I'm going to inject you like we do some jelly donut and, you know, away you go. Have fun in there. And they mess up. <laughs> they send them back to World War I. So close. So, so close. He gets shot in the leg, and then we just, like, time jump to 1996. One month before this outbreak. Our doctor from the mental hospital is still a doctor, but she's also an author now. Because everybody's writing books these days. Pollution of land, sea, and air. The rape of the environment. Surely there's very real and very convincing data that the planet cannot survive. Yeah, that uh, that guy's the reason security exists. <laughs> Where's her security phone? Get him out of here! But she heads outside. She gets attacked by a homeless man. He tries to act all sneaky and stealthy. Oh, oh, get in the car. Where, where, where are we going? Philadelphia. But he put on too many layers to his disguise, and he's burning up in there. The heat is unbearable. And it's James. He kind of, sort of, you know, kidnaps her, but it's okay. It's a good way, okay. He just wants to go to Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, and where the 12 Monkeys gang is created. <laughs> he has that same dream again, only this time he recognizes the lady as the doctor he is with. Things are starting to get spooky. You won't think I'm crazy when people start dying next month. So they arrive in Philly. We do, in fact, see the 12 monkeys spray painted everywhere. We track them down to a building. I'm looking for the army of the 12 monkeys. I'm a psychiatrist. D just do whatever he tells you to do. Okay? Well, it's a good thing we don't appear to be crazy at all. But these kids mention that Brad Pitt formed their group and that he's created the army of the 12 monkeys. And their main job is just to make his dad's life harder because his dad does lab testing on animals. So, it, you know, it's starting to seem like we kind of know where the virus might start. But we head off to find Brad Pitt at his mansion because it turns out he wasn't just crazy. No, like most crazy people, he was also rich. It's amazing how those two things just go hand in hand so often. But on the drive, our doc notices James was shot, so she helps remove the bullet, and it looks old as hell, because it is old, it's from World War I. I tell you all that the dangers of science are... Bruce sneaks into the rich dad's dinner party. Him and Jeffrey chat about the virus, and Jeff just kind of casually mentions that James maybe helped him come up with this idea back in 1990. So, you know, good going there, Marty McFly. You messed the whole thing up. The world belongs to the dogs and cats. Experimentation with DNA and virus for years. You processed that. But while running away, he is almost caught until he just vanishes yet again. Only now, he's starting to really believe that he might actually yeah, just be a little crazy. On Blueberry Hill. It is a very stressful thing, time travel. You stood up very well. But that is why this movie is so freaking incredible. Because while he is starting to think he's just a crazy homeless person from 1996, just sitting there in the home watching Richard Simmons work out for hours on end... The doctor is starting to believe that maybe he's telling the truth. Yeah, they're doing a whole swap, swip, swap, swap. So she gets that bullet analyzed, and it's confirmed that it's crazy old. It was fired sometime prior to 1920. No! She even sees him in an old photo, which I don't know how you missed our man the first time, but you did. So, when he heads back to 96 a second time, she starts out crazying our man. James! There's a policeman over there. Pretend you don't know me. No, I want to turn myself in. Over there. Come on. I'll tell you what is crazy. 
The fact that she sees a man with a barcode tattoo and just doesn't have the urge to scan it at a self-checkout? Because that would be the first thing I would do. You just know that he would show up as a beefcake, and he'd be reasonably priced too because he's such a good guy. But while they are regrouping, they get attacked by a pimp. We need cash, James! Put him in the closet! Mom, but take his money first! Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, she's officially lost it. This feels like we're playing Grand Theft Auto. But now the two of them are just walking around Philly. They're just bleeding all over the place. Honestly, they're probably blending in a bit better than you'd think. So there's this voicemail that they can call that's supposed to be able to leave people in the future a message. So to see if it's real, she calls it. We're insane. We're crazy. It's a carpet cleaning company. And good news. It's just a carpet cleaning business. I didn't recognize your voice. They got your message, Catherine. However, the bad news is that it's a carpet cleaning business from the future. Because James remembers the exact message that she left, which uh, hurts my brain a bit, but that means that they told him the message in the future already, and that he might not actually be crazy. Next, Brad Pitt has kidnapped his dad, and the master plan has started. Jeffrey, I, I, I know that's you. I recognize your voice. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey? <laughs> You're completely insane. Oh, now? You think he's crazy? Well, what gave it away, Pops? But having warned the future through the voicemail, they believe they've done everything in their power to stop the virus, so they decide to go on vacation and escape the police. They put on some wigs, they glue some hair to our man's face, and it's not fair because he still looks incredible. Well, you look pretty different to yourself. Yeah, uh, so scared, but not too scared to grab some booty. <laughs> Sir, you devil you, I see ya. We also see that the 12 monkeys big plan wasn't a virus. They were just going to release some animals from the zoo. So, you know, not exactly a genius move. Plus, it's a horrible move because they released flamingos. You know, they're now going to be walking around in large groups and just secretly thinking they're better than the rest of us. I can't do it, okay? I won't do it. However, it's not over, because we see that the real plague spreader was the assistant. Oh, it's the guy that we should have called security on the whole time. But it's not just him, folks. You know who's really to blame for the apocalypse? Excuse me, sir. Would you mind letting me have a look at the contents of your bag, please? T-S-A. It's just the good old airport security. Also invisible to the naked eye. I'm going to have to ask you to open this up, sir. Biological samples even have an odor. Yeah, let me just shake these vials. Ooh, go ahead and pop that puppy open. I, hey, I just want to be the first to die. Okay, let me just let me just inhale this. Ugh. You know what it smells like? It smells like baloney. Because I once got stopped and searched because I try to fly with the game Jenga. I'm not making this up. I swear to you, they pulled my Jenga out of the bag. They asked me what it is, which it says Jenga on literally every single surface of the container. You know, heaven forbid I want to try to play a high stress game of Jenga on a plane. I thought it was a brilliant idea. TSA didn't think it was a brilliant idea. They took my Jenga. So I can't fly with small pieces of wood, but this man can fly with vials of viruses and just, you know, just go right through. Oh, I am so mad right now. I got to take a breath. I can't. Whew. God, I got hot. I got real hot there. But James tries to stop him and he gets gunned down. And we see his dream come full circle. He was the man that got killed in the airport. And that little boy? That little boy was him. From the past. That's right. It's like, like Looper all over again. But the guy gets away. He's on the plane. He's off to kill the world one stupid TSA agent at a time. And our movie is over. So... 
on that disappointing note, let's head on over to Red Eye Reacts. Oh, look out! It's a monkey NATO. You know, it's sort of like a shark NATO, except the smell it, it smells way worse. Of course, there's a lion on the roof. Freaking cats, man. Doesn't matter the size. They just love climbing on stuff that's not theirs. Get out! Get out! Get out of my chair! Oh, stop. Oh, God, stop making mouth noises. Oh, God, I hate you. You're the worst. I hate you more than the dude who caused the apocalypse. Are you dying to get away? It's an advertisement, Mr. Cole. It's an advertisement. Advertisement? I've never heard of such a thing. Surely you mean advertisement. Boins was a, a fruitcake. Uh. I was examined thoroughly. If you forget one thing, I will have you shaved, sterilized, and destroyed. Leave me alone! Leave! Got that? Buddy, believe me, you do not want to go in there right now. Let it air out. Take a lap. Come back. That is it. Thank you so much. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. That actually helps this month because every new sub I earn, I will donate on your behalf to the AFTD. If you want to donate yourself, there is a link on this page. The link is on every Bruce Willis video I've done this month. I would love to give them a great end of their year. So let's help people like Bruce Willis and his family and the many, many others that are dealing with this just absolutely horrendous disease. It would mean the world to me. I know it means the world to them. Thank you so much. So, subscribe, like, comment, tell your friends, tell your family. Tell them about how much I hate TSA, because I do. If you want to support the channel in another way, I do have a Patreon. That community, as always, is amazing. I have a very special gift coming for you guys very soon. It is an exclusive review only for the Patreon. It was deemed too, I guess, inappropriate for YouTube, and they blocked me constantly. So the patrons are going to get it as an exclusive. If you want to see that or support me, link down below. Discord channel down below, as always. I appreciate each and every one of them. And my merch store down below. I'll see you guys in just a few days when we wrap up this amazing list. And until then... Stay happy and stay healthy. On Blueberry Hill. It is a very stressful thing, time travel.